Hey guys, John from FlyMyCalpha.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at how fuel efficient our airplanes actually are. We know that our airplanes burn a ton of fuel, whether it's a Boeing 747 or a Cessna 172. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at 10 specific different types of airplanes here and see what kind of miles per gallon we're actually getting when we fly these things. So let's go ahead and start off here with the iconic Boeing 747 and we'll talk about the new 800 series and what kind of mileage we'll get with it. So it burns about 9.6 tons per hour up in cruise flight, cruising along about 490 knots true airspeed. So that's about 560-ish miles an hour. Now there's 400 people on board, so we could look at it and how many gallons per mile it's going to burn. It's going to burn over 5 gallons for every mile it goes but it's a little bit more fair to look at it in terms of how many people it carries. So all our bigger planes, we're gonna talk about how many people they actually carry rather than just straight up how many miles the gallons they're getting. So with the Boeing 747-800, figuring out all those people on board, about 400 some passengers, it's gonna get about 91 miles to the gallon per seat. So looking at it per seat, assuming you have all the seats filled, about 91 miles a gallon. Actually really efficient way to travel considering you're doing 550, 560 miles an hour across oceans and you're not driving in your Prius at 65 miles an hour. Next up is the Airbus A380. And that holds roughly, depending on how it's configured, 525 passengers-ish. I know some configurations can go up to like 800 some passengers, like something crazy. Um, but nobody's going to ride on that airplane anyways. So anyways, figuring about 525 passengers and we're going to burn about 25,000 pounds of fuel for every mile we go. Well, that translates to about 72 miles per gallon um, per seat mile. So 72 miles a gallon per seat. For the Boeing 787-9, the new fancy one, holding about 294 passengers-ish, that is going to burn a little over 6,000 pounds per mile, and that translates out to about 94 miles to the gallon. So far, the 787 Dreamliner-9 is going to be the best, most fuel efficient airplane out there. Next, we'll take a look at the CRJ-900, a pretty common airplane used by all the regional airlines, holding about 70-ish passengers, um, if you're going on a typical flight, and burning about 3,000 pounds per hour in cruise flight, cruising along about 500 knots maybe if you're lucky, and that would translate to about 87 miles per gallon, so actually still pretty efficient for a little airplane. Um, Smaller airplanes tend to be a little less efficient just because they don't hold as many seats. So 87 miles to the gallon per seat mile, or per seat. Next up, let's start taking a look at some of our smaller airplanes out there. So we've got our Cessna 172, the beloved Cessna that everyone has, or has at least flown one at one point or another. And that, figuring about 11 gallons per hour, cruising along 135 miles an hour, like 120-ish knots, something like that. We're going to come up with about 12.3 miles per gallon is what we're going to get with our 172. So if we happen to throw four people in there, well, that's actually pretty darn good. Now you're getting about 50, 60 miles to the gallon, um, you know, per seat. But it's still actually a lot less efficient than flying on an airliner. However, it's not any less efficient than driving a big boat and especially um, even like a big diesel truck. Next, we'll look at the 182. So a little bit bigger, a little bit faster, can hold a little bit more weight. You're figuring you're burning about 14 and a half gallons per hour or so, doing about 155 miles an hour at your airspeed. Uh, well, then you're going to get about 10.7 miles to the gallon. So still, I mean, better than boats, um, better than some, you know, big heavy trucks out there. Um, and if you throw a couple of people in it, then it counts for even more. If you can throw four people in there and get about 40-ish miles to the gallon. Um, next, the Cessna 150. And this one is probably going to be our most efficient, um, or almost most efficient, small airplane out there. Cessna 150 burning about 5-ish gallons per hour, doing about 90 miles an hour true airspeed. Translates to about 18 miles to the gallon, so that's better than some sports cars even out there, and definitely better than trucks, better than boats. Um, and you can't for throw four people in there, um, unless they're like four really tiny people. Um, but uh, yeah, two people in there, 36 miles a gallon, not too bad. Next up, our Champ. The Champ is such an awesome airplane that will get you nowhere fast. 
Um, it burns about three and a half gallons per hour and it'll cruise about 75 miles per hour, but it's some awesome flying at 75 miles an hour down low and slow. Um, it translates to about 21 and a half miles to the gallon. Um, so it's a pretty cheap airplane to fly and pretty, uh, economical airplane there considering you got two seats in it and, uh, you can easily carry two people and maybe a bag or two. And definitely check out the video about owning a Champ. I'll include the link to that video in the description below if you want to compare ownership costs on that airplane. Next, let's take a look at the Cirrus because that'll get you where you want to go a lot faster than Champ will. Cirrus is, well, for an SR-22, figure it's going to burn maybe about 16.5 gallons per hour and do about 216 miles per hour to airspeed. Translates to 13 miles to the gallon. For our Mooney... Well, a Mooney burns about 11 and a half gallons per hour, a little bit smaller engine and a little bit sleeker design, um, a little bit smaller cockpit too than a Cirrus or like a Bonanza or something. Um, so a little bit of a tight squeeze in there, but they'll do about 180 miles an hour to your speed on 11 and a half gallons an hour. And that gives you about 15, maybe 16 miles to the gallon, um, which is pretty good for going that fast. I mean, obviously what you can see here is the faster you go, the more fuel you're gonna burn period. And that works the same in any airplane. We'll talk about fuel efficiency and actually how to fly your airplane more efficiently in a later video. And lastly, our awesome beloved Cherokee. That's another airplane that's not going to get you anywhere too fast, but it's pretty reliable. Nice four seat airplane. Burning about 7.8, 8 gallons an hour. Um, just using the numbers from the one I used to own. Uh, 7.8 gallons an hour, 110 miles an hour to your airspeed, 14 miles to the gallon. Eh, pretty economical there-ish. And it would actually carry a little bit of weight too. Um, just didn't really take off or anything or do anything fast. Um, but it would get up and go um, in time-ish. So that's pretty much it. That kind of compares your Priuses, your trucks, your Corvettes, all your fancy cars um, to some airplanes. What kind of mileage are you getting relative to your car? And you can see flying the airlines is environmentally responsible, mostly. And flying your own airplane is a lot of fun and less so environmentally responsible. Um, but in any case, still a lot of fun. And it can be, if you throw a bunch of people in there, actually more fuel efficient than driving your car somewhere. So keep in mind, you're going in a straight line, and that helps. But if you have any questions at all on this, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up on our video, like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, keep up with our latest videos. Check out our Patreon page because we greatly appreciate all the support you guys give us, and we really need your support to help make these videos and keep building our online ground school, keeping it free for everybody. As always, if you cannot fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.